here's something else that could date this video. I don't know if you care about this even, like, slightly. Uh, fucking Ian and Anthony from Smosh just got back together. Yeah, I don't care. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, too, then. Well, the first YouTube duo was Fred and Kevin. Fred and Kevin? Yeah. I think Fred came after Smosh. Kevin. Keep dragging me into the enemies. It's the ultimate technique. <laughs> I got the stick. That was fun and exciting. What was the fucking point of that? What if Snake was like screaming and pissing himself when he saw Meta Knight and Lucario? There's like, we can see like yellow glow around him instead. That's an outcome. So why is Meta Knight blue? Because I guess he's a protagonist right now at this moment. Okay, just just in case, because that was very, very challenging right there. Just in case what? Just in case we got our butts kicked by the first three enemies. What did you do? There's two maximum tomatoes, that's the joke. Oh, I didn't see that. Here's the joke. Yes, we got stickers! Got sticker star. What do you feel about Paper Mario Sticker Star? It looks really fucking boring. Have you ever played it? No. <laughs> You're not missing out. Um yeah, like I said, it just looks boring. Like uh I only played Thousand Year Doors start to finish and I loved it. But um Sticker Star just doesn't really look like it's off from what much. I watched the fucking Chugger Conroy video, videos on it. Um, it's not even completed. I think he like, has three parts of it out. What if he just stopped? He's like, I can't do it anymore. He might. He might have done that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I... Sticker Star seems to be like kind of unanimous where Color Splash and Origami King are a bit more split. You take the tomato. Oh yeah, I guess I do need it. I never played Color Splash or... Origami King. I don't have any uh, intention on ever playing them. Honestly, I probably won't either. The combat just doesn't look fun. There's things about Origami King that looked fun, but it wasn't like the same thing that was fun about Thousand Year Door. The same thing as like Reggie Fizeme said. If it's not fun, why bother? <clears throat> there was things from the footage I saw that made it look like an entertaining game to play, but not so much of Color Splash or Sticker Star, but but it's definitely not the same. It's definitely something different, which I mean, I guess it's that's okay, but it's like, I don't know, you're, it's, you're kind of changing the format a bit much. I remember when the game came out, there was a lot of interviews with the director, and it just kept going to the point where if he, like, didn't do any of this, it probably would have uh, been a better look on the game's reputation. Mm hmm uh, Like, what did he do? It, it's been a while, honestly. But, but when did it come out? Like, 2018? Yeah, around that time. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, mentioning that he doesn't want to do the same thing, like, doesn't want to do any more turn base like every game has to has to be something different um maybe it was that same interview or, or if chris was here she would back me up about uh talking about how either like they had to follow nintendo's guidelines of like no original characters outside the mario universe and that's stupid or like they all have to be the toads That's why, like, a lot of people... It's another one of those situations where... Oh, I was talking about the Animaniac reboot, like, the other day with, like, the others. And it's, like, just another one of those situations, like, why are you even fucking here? Because the Animaniacs reboot is not the worst thing I've ever seen, but there are things about it that I genuinely hate, and that's made worse by the fact that there's people who worked on the show that openly admitted they hated the original show. And it's like, why are you here, then? That's... 
get the fuck out of it here. Like, don't don't be surprised that there's people who don't want you. I understand it's the business, and sometimes you're going to work on a show that maybe you're not too fond for. It's just part of the field. I, I, I have a realistic view on the world. But don't act like surprised when, like, <laughs> fans of this thing don't like you very much. <clears throat> when you're openly admitting to, I don't like the thing I'm adapting. I'm not going to try to make it like that thing I'm adapting. God, that reminds me of, like, I don't remember the people's names, but during, like, Mighty Number no. 9 uh, Kickstarter, there was somebody that got hired on that a lot of people had issues with, as well as a uh, ukulele with, I don't know if it's, like, PR team or whoever, when people were wanting to get their refunds because of, like, John Tron no longer being a, right. a voice actor, like, people in charge of it were just making fun of people wanting to get refunds because they couldn't. Well, yeah, well, did people know that John Tron was going to be in the game prior to that, or did they yeah. learn about it because of the him getting so, kicked off? He was, he was going to be in I think it was like... So it was like official. They made that official that he was going to be a voice in there. Mm-hmm. So then, yeah, that, that's that. I do think it's wrong then, because there are potentially people who donated for that reason. It's like with a, this is a kind of a, this is definitely a different example because there's other reasons people donated to ukulele unlike this, where Derek Savage was trying to get a cool cat movie made, and Monkey Jones bringing him up again said that he would take like he would encourage his subscribers to donate if Derek Savage, the creator, would agree to let him be one of the shooters in the movie. Oh my god. Because uh, he thought it would be funny. And, you know, say whatever you want about that. But yeah, Derek Savage agreed, and then when the Kickstarter wasn't going, like, he got, like, an extra, like, over $10,000 for that. And then when the Kickstarter still wasn't getting high enough, he changed what the Kickstarter was going to be for. What was it for, then? He said it was now going to be a Stranger Danger movie. Because he said the reason that, like, the school... He said the reason that that wasn't enough money is, like, most of that money was going to go towards, like, actually being able to film it inside a school. Oh, okay. Um, but it's like... You, um... You, you prom... Like... You promised something, and now you're trying to back out of it after you've already made the money on it. I wonder if you could still keep the concept, but, like, in a different building with permission. Uh, you, That's just me. Yeah, or, like, yeah, just, I don't know, make a set green screen. Actually, it wouldn't even be that hard. It just wouldn't be that much different from what Derek already does. It's not like he's making high-quality films. Just buy some chairs. Buy some snares. Yeah. Build it in a big old lair. But it's lame when you do that, when you promise something, and then, like, you back down on it. And, yeah, that's one of the reasons people donated. They, they absolutely were in the wrong to do that. Do you imagine like the wind resistance both Sheik and Peach have right now? <laughs> Quite a bit, right? It's going at like 17 trillion miles per hour. Peach shoots up a uh, ship. Thanks. What if that's what Peach's new game is? It's a shooter. I mean, she was using the uh, ribbons. Yeah. I, I really hope to hear uh, from that soon. But it's it's gonna be like in the fall, <laughs> and then it'll be sometime like. In the summer of next year, maybe. That's my guess. Yeah, it definitely feels like uh, they weren't confident enough to like show off more. Just like, hey, well, it just feels like they probably didn't have much to show off. I guess just try to keep people's interest, and in, I don't know, maybe their stocks. Look at all these captured enemies. For example, oh, wait, isn't there the one that is only in this yep, section? Only right here. This this fella. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's creepy. I think it makes it extra creep creepy that it's the only time you see him. He's just like, help me! Fuck! Ah! In the subspace emissary enemy, some of them are genuinely unsettling. Yes. Uh, do I have stuff in the washer and dryer? Um... I don't remember putting anything in. I, Mom said that there were some blankets maybe in there. But I, I don't think I have anything in there now. Oh, thank you. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's all staying in. The 
It's a good. I hope it's not. It's all a quality conversation. Link this out to them, then let them know about your spiny Norman channel. Oh no! I'll never be able to show my face in town again. Dunsdale. Anyway. More like Dunsdale. More like Dumsville, the Lego guy YouTuber. Hey, guess what? Sort. I've got a bomb. I'm gonna use it on this guy over here. Okay. Have fun. He kind of just jumped into it. That's his own fault. Yeah. Oh no, my shield. It feels like if you do the shield, he'll just like keep doing it longer. Kind of like Warrior's bike has like a, a lingering hitbox. When you fart on it. But that's like tech for uh... Maybe it's, maybe it's also tech in Brawl, but I don't know. I never played much of Wario in Brawl. I was more of a mess. I was excited for like a lot of the new characters in Brawl, so I was playing a lot of like uh, a lot of Wario, a lot of Sonic. You saw him in the casino, you're like, oh boy, a child just like me. Little Sheik moves on. Whittle Sheik. Whittle Sheik. Normal Sheik. I gotta know what that is. It's I don't know. We'll find out later. After all of your effort, I'm the one who took it. I don't know if I can uh, hang out with you anymore. Uh, okay. Bye bye. So a lot of betrayal. On See you later. A lot of betrayal on your part. Bye bye. Ow. That's what you get. <laughs> Betraying me. He betrayed us. Just hey, just hey. Fucking dick. I wanted to play a chic. What does Fox think he's gonna do? Hit Peach, obviously. There you go for Peach, that makes sense. He's tired of the... The right-winged agenda that Peach... <laughs> yeah, uh, Peach promotes. Peach promotes nothing but the right-winged agenda in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. That's why Bowser keeps overthrowing her. <laughs> He's just trying to do what's best for everyone. <laughs> trying to impeach her. Trying to impeach her. Mario's like... Did you even mean to make a pun out of that? No. <laughs> Mar Mario's like... Ashy? I don't know who that is. Back to the map again. Back to the map again. Snake. And then we have Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watches, to be precise, but okay. Is this the one that's like kind of two-sided? Yep. Like a lot of people in life. Oh, Meta Knight's not there. Hey. Yeah, he's taking control of the ship back. Oh, okay. Uh, Peach. I'll be Snake. <laughs> he's solid. Uh, Falco, you know, took a long time and like, um, he could have died, honestly when falling, so... We skipped out on a few frames there. Oh good, no, no biggie. I wonder how this will do with Kabu. Anyway. What are you trying to do? No, it's just like this fight, like it's being a bit more jumpy than usual. Not quite, it's not too bad, but... I definitely noticed it skipping out on a few frames earlier. <laughs> Was it really? Not, not by a lot. <laughs> I didn't notice. Falco's also got a gun, like Snake. Falco's got a gun. Peach is on the run. Snake is dialing 911. What made Falco snap? Was he tired of Fox's crap? Alright, well, I guess that's where it dies. That's good with me. I like the little ear twitch. <laughs> Mr. Game & Watch. Bad. Oh. Oh, jeez. What, what if that was his real voice? Oh, oh fuck. Please. He can't see. Wait. Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. The, the steering wheel was, like, way above him, and then it's just so happens to, like, shrink down to him. It's adjustable. Because he would need it to be adjustable, considering his height. But I need to disagree. We have to go to the bomb factory. I mean, the subspace bomb factory. They're bombs. Oh, no. 
How will we ever survive the subspace bomb factory, Scoob? Oh, that's too bad. I, I thought they were pies. I, I was gonna buy them from you, but... I wanted to buy one. That really sucks. Fuck. Fuck. These pies look good, so it's licking his lips. Oh, they're so scrumptious. What did SpongeBob actually eat in the episode when he was licking his fingers? KFC. What could be in there? It's a balloon? Oh, that's one of the Twilight Shades. Twilight Princess. Yep. It's so weird that in Smash Wii U they still kept the Twilight Princess look, but decided to... or instead of choosing Skyward Sword. But I feel like that was because of restraints, because... I don't know, maybe they wanted to have everybody the same character besides Toon Link, like in the same series. 64 is going for Ocarina, right? Yeah. And then GameCube is doing... Still Ocarina. Okay. Like, I want to imagine that it's Majora's Mask Young Link, but it's not because of the Kokiri shield. But, you know, that's just me and my sad life of wanting Majora's Mask representation hey! in media. Let me the fuck and in! I'm, and I'm tired of, tired of it not being appreciated enough. Look at Samus go. She's fucking on fire. I feel like that's how her run animation is in Metroid 2, which isn't good. Not a good game? Nope. That's why the remake is better. Hey, we made it to the end. On the oh, lovely. Big Samus. We had a friend at work give me a rundown of the Metroid games and where they went bad. I mean, like, basically there was games that went for something completely different than Metroidvania. Yeah, there was a Metroid dating sim where you could, <laughs> you could go out with Craig. Craig was in like a, a Sailor Moon outfit. Go out with Rob. You could play his mother, or you could like date his mother brain, but like due to the controversies that she had at the time, it's kind of weird going back to it. Yeah, definitely cutting that out of re-releases. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Big ape. Big ape. Oh, we're almost back to where we left off. Or where we were. Bazinga. You think Donkey Kong should have the right of citizenship in New Dog City? Hmm. Um, A lot of stuff is named after him. Maybe. Heck, there's even, like, stuff based off of him in, in the, the city. Yeah, but maybe it's named after his attacks. Rather than him himself. It's, it's like, like an all it's like a never forget situation. One of those Confederate statues that eventually needs to get torn down. <laughs> <laughs> the the city of New Dong eventually revolt and tear down all of the memorials of Donkey Kong. <laughs> God, I forgot how annoying tripping was. <laughs> again. Almost, again? Yeah. You remember when we played last time at your place, and now you're remembering all over again. Reliving the glory. I don't think I'm ever going to play this game again after this. <laughs> yeah. Like, after we finish Subspace, I think like I'll be I'm done for the rest of my life. Probably same. Oh god. Oh god, run away. Fuck. What are we run away from? The, the ceiling was going to fall and destroy us. Oh, okay. You can't say kill on national television. You can't, you can only say it on the radio. You can't say moron on the radio. <laughs> Parents are morons. He's double T in the morning. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Same. <laughs> God, I'm almost half tempted to just drink that coffee now. <laughs> I mean, go for it. We can get something in the morning. Yeah. I, I've had so much caffeine today, it's like, I, I feel like the Red Bull did almost nothing for me. Help. Oh, thank you. Wee! Oh, boy. Fucking punch balls. Ha 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 ha. Funny uh, sex joke. Yeah, I don't really see it, but okay. Thanks, game. I don't know where I'd be without you. I need a banana. <laughs> Guess not. God, one time... I was very young at my old house in Dover. <laughs> the, 
me and my brother, we got out of school, but the door was locked because no one was home. So I thought it was a great idea to use a, a tiny little twig to see if I could unlock the door. Did and it work? No. <laughs> the twig broke off. <laughs> then when my mom got home, uh, she couldn't put the key. <laughs> she put she couldn't put the keyhole or the key in the keyhole. Because of the damage you did. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to go through like the basement. Well, I mean, like basement. It kind of, I think the door was more like a cellar. No, no. It was like a like a door, but it was funny. She somehow got it out. Where's the key? I have it. Oh. She somehow you know unlocked it, but it was funny. Oh, it's, this is probably time, right? For the Ridley fight. Oh no, we're gonna fight a bunch of Robs, aren't we? Yeah, a bunch of Roberts. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Smiths. Who's that handsome man? That's Robert Downey Jr. There he is. There he is, amongst everyone. He raised his hand up and went, Ugh! You had better make up the mat, then. No! Stop! You shouldn't do this! Please! I feel I bad! Changed. <laughs> I've changed. I pressed a button. He pressed a button. No, oh, my brother in. Don't do this. Urgh. Push his button angrier. <laughs> Makes the other shoot. Rob. He had a heart this whole time. I didn't remember really enjoying like this scene. Like, um... Audio-wise, like Gan Ganondorf's laugh is distorted and creepy sounding. The music here remember, is really nice. I remember screaming at myself and like literally like throwing stuff at the TV and breaking. A lot of lots, lots of property damage at that laugh. The music's like very hopeless in this part, which mm -hmm. is nice. Then Rob comes in and saves everyone. He shot one bird. That was one bird shot. You can't convince me otherwise. Who's that? Can none of us pick Rob? Can we just make it so Rob doesn't oh, matter yeah, here? Whatever. <laughs> uh, I'll just Samus. Do you Pikachu? And we'll do Diddy. Right, fuck Rob. Everyone else isn't really that good in like multiple attacks like this. I mean, Falcon is considered one of the worst characters in the game. Captain Falcon. Yep. Hey ya! Call that farted on someone. Shut up. <laughs> Literally, legit, that was the worst thing ever in that game. Yeah, uh, maybe that should make me so mad the first time I played it. I, I think I spent like an entire playthrough on that. Like, how to, trying to figure out how to like get through that. I was stuck on it for a while the first time I ever did it. I wonder if that's canonic. I just don't think it's very game. well... I don't really think it's a well thought out part of the game is the thing. I wonder if they patched that out eventually. They would never. I don't think they did patch anything out. There should be a mod that just patches that out. <laughs> Someone needs to like spend their time doing that and just for me. God, when I woke up this morning, I forgot like what it was like to just wake up for first shift. It was genuinely a horrible time. <laughs> just everything was so dark, like everybody is just asleep. When I'm outside, it's like, jeez, am I like too loud? Maybe I'll wake something. That's never happened before, but it's like, jeez. <laughs> and then that dreaded, dreaded feeling of, I am so tired, I feel like I could pass out. Right. Kind of feeling, where it's like, you feel like hot when you wake up and tired. But yet you're still trucking along. Yeah. I know that feeling pretty well, but like, especially now, because I'm on the morning shift now, where I'm, uh, I'm getting up at like 4, 4.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I hate it. So fucking much. We also hate waking up at morning shift. We all want to die. Let's just fucking blow up. I'm fucking done with this. Let's go on my Lamborghini, guys. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're still gonna... No Rob. Rob's not welcome <clears throat> here. Rob's a bad guy. He didn't redeem himself. I reject his apology. I reject my humanity. Why do I keep always... I, I keep having funny jokes and then I say other stuff. I was gonna say, like, I reject my humanity, Jojo. That was the funny joke. Jojo. This is a biz bizarre adventure. Ah. I don't think this should have been an auto-scroller. I don't think so. This part's lame. I feel like none of these should be... I, I feel like we've gotten uh, a little bit better 
in life without auto scrollers. Mm-hmm. It's one of those products of its times where it's like, should we have live systems? Should we have un underwater levels that suck? Feels like you'd be able to take the weak aspects and the positive aspects and make something out of it, but the higher ups just purposefully want a bad water level. We need the controls to feel awkward. And we need the game to be less enjoyable. We need the game to be played by dudes. If it's too enjoyable, they might not play in it by another game. Get the heart. Ah. Get the heart, Michael! I command you to do everything I say! Get the heart! And you're too blind. No! What was the point? I guess... No, the point was yeah, I don't just... Want, yeah, I don't want to be alive anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this. What's the fucking point of that? Because healing doesn't matter since it's going to reset that for this part anyway. I don't know, a false sense of security? Yes. False sense of... You know, maybe that would be some oil in the chair. Ridley, he will never be in Smash Bros. He's too big. I pretend I never heard that. I'm gonna be Pikachu. Put Robin. He's the only good character. Oh, it's too late now. Uh, you probably should have uh, not ran this. Uh, probably should have not ran this jump to the ground. Uh, Unlike me, who's never done anything bad in my life. We can kill him with down B. It is the only way. Uh-oh. No. Have you ever thought about not doing that? No, really. And now we got Donkey Kong. It is cool, though, that really did get two boss fights. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely one of the more significant, like... Nintendo villains outside of the ones that are like actually in the in this game. Like, you know, Bowser and Ganondorf have more significance probably, but I'd say Ridley might be like third place. I don't know. I mean uh, Tom Nook. Okay, well. you, Tom Nook depending on like how you see him. Tom Nook might not even be like the main villain of Animal Crossing. I mean I guess he would be. He's most popular, but people see Mr. Rossetti as kind of a villain. Or Sadie. Yeah. Which one's Sadie? The hedgehog? Oh. Is that her name? Isn't it Mabel and Sable? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, Sadie's a new character. I like Sable. I like that the more you talk to her, the friendlier she gets. That's a little detail that I appreciate. It's like it, a growing friendship. <clears throat> I like that they have them in there. It gives you a false sense of security. <laughs> because then she stabs you later. Stabs you seven billion times <laughs> in the chest. Entrance to the subspace. Okay. Yay! This is a big moment in the game. We, we skip it. And we appreciated it a lot the first time we played through this, but now it's like... One, there's a giant we're here. dog. Two, how does that fit in the giant dong? The giant dong is pretty interesting, though, when they zoom into it. It's a lot of detail. It looks like a big fucking city. I like, I like the way it's designed. It's so weird, just, like, looking at... The lineup for like the evil villains, it's just Ganondorf and Bowser. Yeah. It, it, it feels too empty to me. Perhaps. <laughs> Angry Ganondorf face. Oh no, it's Meta Knight. He's like, heroes. <laughs> and it also sucks is that they're like two of the worst characters in the game. <laughs> It works for the cinematic though. You got two the two biggest Nintendo bad guys side by side. Yeah, I guess It's nice so. to see. It's a cool visual. I still, to this day, wish Ganondorf just had a better moveset. Yeah. Like, I know... I've heard that before. I know some people might be tired of doing this, but, like, I wish he had more of the, the wizard aspects. Mm -hmm. Where he could float. I'm sure that, that might seem broken, but he's supposed to be. <laughs> he has the triforce of the power. Yeah. I mean, there'd be a better way to, like, emulate that. Even with, like, while still giving him a fair move, so... Look, there's Kirby! There goes Kirby! Bye-bye, Kirby! Alright, so in order to get as much done in the Great Maze, 
we gotta look at every nook and cranny in these next two levels to make sure we get all the characters. Yeah, that's right. We can, I, I, even then, we can't get all of them from these next two levels, right? We can just get a lot of them. Oh, yeah. But in order to, uh... I remember last time we were, like, desperately trying to get all of them, though. <laughs> yeah. And we made good progress, and then... And then, bleh. Bleh. All right, we got a big lineup of characters to play as. We can only pick four. So, make a count. Oh, boy! Uh... Let me be Mr. Game, and we'll actually, I'll just pick him. God, it's, it's so amazing. Like, at this time, you're like, this, these are so much, so many characters! When in reality, it's, it's like nothing now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's gonna be loud. I also noticed in the other recordings, like, every time, like, it just <laughs> it could pick it up, and I'm like, am I really that annoying with that? <laughs> not really. Maybe I'm just, it's not that noticeable. Maybe I'm insecure. It's more, yeah, it probably is one of those things that's more noticeable for you. Well, don't worry, you're indestructible. Do you know Game & Watch in Melee is the only character that they screwed up with the shield? Did the His shield doesn't fully like, go over his body. Oh. It's like half of it. I did not know that. But I probably experienced that when I was younger, because Mr. Game & Watch was like my favorite to play as, just because I liked it, that it was a 2D character. Mr. Game & Watch. It's so, it's so weird. I've never... It's been a while since I've seen Game & Watch play in Melee. I don't even think he's... I don't even know where he is. He is on the tier list. I don't even think people play as him. I remember not being certain, like, if Mr. Game Watch was even, like, an old character. When I got him in Melee, I was like, is this a original character? He's a game, and he watches. Mr. Game? And, and watch. watch. I knew nothing about Game & Watch when I first played Melee. And then I did a thing called research, because I was like, Who is this character? And then I learned... I hate research! I spent more time researching about video game characters than I did in school. Makes sense. You go for the things that interest you. Yeah, and honestly, I'm surprised I got through it all, because... Yesterday I had to do a, like a refresher at work for like a test, and I just realized how much I did not care about like comprehending and learning stuff. Granted, like I, I did my best, like I looked into it, but like for school, I remember just sitting there like spaced out, and everybody's like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I understand it, uh huh," and I'm just like haphazardly saying, "Yeah, uh huh," right. I no, I remember, I remember that shit, like, it just hit a point where it's like, I didn't want to continue to confess that I didn't know what was going on. Because then it's that awkward moment of, like, you do it and, like, the other people go, Ugh. Right. Just very angry. They don't want you to succeed. Maybe it's just that fear and anxiety that developed in me <laughs> as the years went on. Ganondorf's about to be a massive jackass. Top 10 betrayal moments in anime history. Yeah. He even kicked him. Yeah. Just, just, just fucking inappropriate. No, I don't, I don't like this. That Ganondorf is just submitting to a higher god. He wouldn't do that. But he, what if it was a giant hand? He would eat the giant hand. Huh. Like a spaghetti. It's like dinner. a, it's like a Thanksgiving meal. Mm-hmm. With a giant hand on the table. Especially that this Sonic? one. Especially that this one is a uh, Twilight Princess Ganondorf. I don't know like how significant it would be, but like, is he a bigger bastard? No, it's a uh, the the main the main like the original main villain Zant referred to him as a god or worshipped him so much as a god. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Ganondorf timeline or for Twilight Princess is the. Uh, the Ganondorf when Link goes back. So like all he did in life was go to the king, kneel down, and then he's and then Link comes in and is like, that man is evil! Arrest him! Okay, little boy. Let's do it. <laughs> and then Ganondorf gets arrested. He's like, I didn't do anything! What the fuck? <laughs> so he's angry, he's like, what the fuck, man? I didn't do nothing. God damn it! So he also got stabbed in the chest. In prison? Yeah. By the uh 
I forgot what they're called. The, uh, I don't know, the, the sages. A lot of sages. And then he just like choke, choked one of them out. So people were thinking that some of Ganon's moveset is related to Twilight Princess, but like very specific. Like the side B is like him choking out one of the sages, and it's like, I get it, cool, but. Yeah, let's uh, save real quick. You know, I wish it was more. <laughs> Fair enough.